Geo Falcon's Hallberg, the new Hunter exotic chess piece that lets you one shot body with an Arbalist. Yes, this wasn't clickbait, guys. It lets you one shot body with an Arbalist and one shot headshot with a Lamonarch. It's borderline broken in PvP and it's extremely potent in PvE as well. I'm not sure how we always end up with Invis Hunters ending up with some sort of overpowered kit in PvP, but here we are again just after the Omni Oculus nerf. In this video, I'll go over exactly what the exotic does both in PvP and PvE, and then we'll go through some weapon testing and give my final verdict on the best way to utilize this exotic. So the exotic perk, See Me, Feel Me, provides a damage bonus for 3 seconds when coming out of invisibility. This damage bonus is roughly 15% in PvP and 35% in PvE. Now, to come out of invisibility, you can either wait for the timer to naturally run out, or you can force yourself out of invisibility through actions like melleeing, throwing a grenade, or shooting. We'll cover this a little later in the weapons testing section, because it's important for ease of use of the damage boost. The exotic also has a secondary perk just in PvE. When using your finisher when invisible on enemies, it provides a buff called Reserve Overshield for you and your nearby allies. This is basically a pocket overshield, which you can use when you next use your class ability. You'll also notice when I do use a finisher while invisible, my class ability regen is massively increased, so I get my next dodge back pretty quick. This pairs really nicely with the Void Fragment Echo of Obscurity, whereby finisher final blows grant invisibility, and this creates a nice never-ending gameplay loop. So the main question here is, PvP-wise, what's going to be borderline broken with a 15% damage increase? Well, my mind first went to Arbalest and Lorench Driver, which usually hits for 166 and a body shot. This then went up to 190 and could kill Guardians with a body shot with 4 or less resilience. A lot of Hunters and Warlocks are 4 or less resilience. The great thing about Arbalest is that when you charge it, it forces you out of invisibility and activates a damage boost, so there's no prerequisite for attaining the one-shot body. Next, I thought about Le Monarch, and this with the damage over time can one-shot headshot for Guardians 5 resilience or lower, but the drawing of the bow doesn't cancel the invis, so you need to either shoot before, throw a grenade, etc. to cancel the invisibility, so it's a little harder to pull off. Other weapons we tried included a 120 hand cannon, which couldn't two tap with the bonus, a rapid fire pulse, which couldn't two burst, a jade rabbit, which couldn't two shot a headshot. Ace can easily two tap with memento mori, but again it required a prerequisite shot or action to cancel invisibility before you gained the damage boost. So essentially for me, the best weapon to activate the damage boost in PvP was going to be something with a charging action. We tried rapid fire fusion rifles like this Cartesian, and it did feel much better with the exotic when coming out of Invis. The charging of the fusion was enough to cancel Invis and trigger the damage boost, which made rapid fires feel more consistent again. Another weapon to consider here is a Glaive, which when paired with the perk Unstoppable Force hits for 170, usually after blocking. Now with the damage boost after coming out of Invis, this will hit for 195, enough to one-shot up to 7 resilience. That's going to be pretty nasty. All you Glaive mains out there, let me know in the comments below how feasible this exotic is going to be with a Glaive. Finally, we tried Ariana's Vow, but that hit for 188 on the head, and again required a prerequisite action or timing the invis perfectly before firing. That will one-shot Guardians too resilient or lower, which was probably a little bit too low. So, for me, Arbalest and Lorentz are going to be the main weapons to pair with this in PvP. Then I think something like a rapid fire fusion rifle may actually feel more viable with this, or even an adaptive frame fusion rifle which previously relied on high impact reserve to defeat high resilience guardians consistently, now doesn't particularly require the perk to be good. So there you go guys, a quick overview of the new Hunter Exotic and what it does in both PvP and PvE. I think in PvP this might actually get a nerf pretty quick and come down to 10% damage bonus, so Arbalist doesn't really one-shot anymore. If you liked what I talked about today, remember to like the video as that helps me out a ton, and remember to subscribe to the channel. I'm Mr. Onnit, and that's it for today guys, peace out.